Warning. Four to five reviewers recommend you do not binge watch this show unless you are a glutton for punishment and or have way too much time on your hands. Hey guys, it's Chief from the F Word here to review Ghost Wars. I have no idea where to begin um, because this thing is just ridiculous. There's a town in Alaska called Port Moore and it's overrun by ghosts. And there's a kid named Roman Mercer who apparently has a psych ability to talk to the ghosts or interact with them uh, or see them, deal with them kind of thing. And there's also a lab that causes this earthquake that makes everything a lot worse. And it kind of explains it in there, but it doesn't make sense. And Vincent D'Onofrio is in this as the priest of the town. Kim Coates, which you'll probably know from Sons of Anarchy, is in this as well as the mayor's brother who shows up. This war that the ghosts have put on the townspeople because it's been cursed for a while and apparently now's the time that everything's going to happen because this lab calls an earthquake. That's it. And wow. I mean, wow. Right off the bat, I had a happening vibe like the happening from m night Shyamalan, the one with mark Wahlberg and zoe deschanel and it goes throughout also i had shades of the wicker man and then just some other kind of bad movies another way to put it is is let's say you're watching another movie and the characters in that movie are watching a movie themselves and it looks cheesy this is the same thing but this is a show 13 episodes at 43 minutes an episode Way too long for something like this. This whole thing just gives you the idea while you're sitting there just as, what the hell am I watching? What is going on? Why am I still watching it? And it's in that why am I still watching it, what's going on thing where it's actually funny in a bad way, like The Happening, like Wicker Man, like other bad movies. You're just like, how is this possible? Big question is, how the hell did Vincent D'Onofrio, a good actor, and Kim Coates, who's I consider also a good actor because I'm a fan of Sons of Anarchy and I like him in Sons of Anarchy. How do they get tied into this thing? They, they, these should not be in this at all. And Vincent D'Onofrio is doing his Wilson Fisk type of voice to be the priest. And, you know, there's these big things where he's talking really loud and forcing the word of God upon everybody. And he does what he can. And Kim Coates, this is bad acting from Kim Coates. And it's more so bad acting like... He doesn't care. He knows this thing's stupid. It's just really bad dialogue, really bad writing. Nothing makes sense. At one point, show you the ending of an episode in the beginning, and it still doesn't make sense because it doesn't flow well together. No one really says the dialogue like a normal person would. People say things, but there's no actual feeling behind it. None of these people are good actors, and even for Vincent D'Onofrio, who does the best he can, and Kim Coates, who just is there, it doesn't make sense. And the story doesn't really weave itself well together. It was showing the events of the earthquake that this lab created after the episode when the earthquake happened. But by the time that happened, it wasn't like, a, oh, this ties into it. It's just like, what the hell's going on? Meatloaf is also in this. He's not good at all. He just shows up when he needs to, to say really bad dialogue poorly. Everyone's dialogue is just done poorly. And then people are just show up for stuff. And you'd think for something involving ghosts that at least the CGI would be good. It's not. Like the ghosts that they have are just holograms of people. So they just made a hologram of someone in a room and they just put them all over the place. There's nothing really menacing about it. There's some scenes where it's involving possession because the ghosts are messing around with people. Like they're making them see what the ghosts want them to see. But it's tricking everybody else. And just, it's just ridiculous. It's bonkers. It's really long, too. This this could have been a movie. This could have been uh, an eight-episode run at 20 minutes an episode. And it's kind of torturous to watch because it's just so bad for such a long time. And nothing really fits. But it jumps in so many different places. And it loses characters for episodes at a time. And they come back and they're supposed to be really important. And everybody's interactions are really awkward. And everyone's really awkward in this. And... Yeah. So Ghost Wars, don't know what else to say. This thing is ridiculous. Like I said, it's like the happening without the plants and the wicker man without the cage. I don't know who would watch this. If you're into really bad stuff and you've got time on your hands, then maybe I could recommend this to you. Uh, if you want to see something so bad, it's just funny. And when you're watching, you're just sitting there like, what the hell is going on? Maybe this is for you. Definitely wasn't for me. Wasn't a fan, but I did laugh a lot.
So that's my review of Ghost Wars. If you get a chance to take a look at it, if you really want to put yourself through that, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Because I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. You can find me on Twitter at the F G. You can email us at the F at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm G and I'm out.